Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty Career Mate here today for part 65 for the start of season 5 of the career mode. We've had pre-season testing and now it's time to go racing and it's an all Alpine front row with Gasly on pole position. Then it's Liam Larson and Joe Guan Yu, Piastri and Max Verstappen, Lando Norris and George Russell, Lance Stroll and Yuki Tsunoda round out the top 10. Then it's Leclerc and we are P12, Fittipaldi and Theo Pacher, Lewis Hamilton and his former teammate Valtteri Bottas, Sainz and Helga. Then it's the two Williams and then it's the two Haases on the final row of the grid. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Bahrain Grand Prix the first round of the season then our qualifying wasn't very good this car this season we look to have got things wrong over winter testing the car doesn't seem to have a good quality pace though we went fastest in the early stages we fell out and we're going to be starting p12 it's a one stopper starting on the softs going to the mediums and let's see what this new season will have in store for us then will we get off to a flying start we need to get our way back through but can this car get us there it's time to find out then as the five red lights come on for the head of season five and we're racing in bahrain we've got a good start we're going to go to the inside and now just get the slipstream and go sailing down the inside into turn one but we're gonna lift off it's gonna bunch up in there we nearly make contact with the mercedes of george russell round the outside goes a ferrari on us and now as we head out of turn two and out towards turn four we're all over the back of the ferrari of charles Leclerc. we're going to send it round the inside round the outside we've also got the aston martin there as well now we're behind George Russell. The, the Alpine of Gasly has gone backwards at the start from pole position. We're going to catch George Nappin down the inside. We're going to catch Gasly Nappin as well. Gas has had to go deeper and George has followed us through there. We've had some great battles with George Russell here in the past, here in Bahrain. This is the replay then of Pierre Gasly's start from pole position. And it's gone absolutely nowhere then. Completely bottled the start. And he's looking to last season in Australia. He could have won the first race. He was looking to try and do it this season. But he's got a big challenge on his hands now. This is Carlos Sainz's start then. He's got an okay start. And then he's been blocked off by the Williams of Alex Albon. And then kind of got stuck in the sandwich then down at turn one side by side with the red, with the red bull of factory but i said and he got past the red bull but it's behind the alpha tower of dennis Helga. anyway back to the action then lap two and george russell is on the inside of us heading down into turn one we try and hold him round the outside we do fend him off a couple of seasons ago this was for the lead us v george how times have changed in this career mode but we fend off George Russell up the road next is our former teammate Oscar Piastri after we dropped him and we've caught him napping now down into the hairpin Piastri going back to McLaren after we dropping him Zach Brown opening his arms to allow him to rejoin the team as in the background he's also coming under threat by George Russell but he's kept him behind this is Lando Norris now on Max Verstappen. His first race in red. He's going to the inside of Max Verstappen. He's got the inside line. Is Verstappen brave enough to hold it around the outside? Who gets the exit? Max Verstappen has. We're coming at very high speed. We have to completely anchor up to avoid it in the back of the Ferrari. Now though, we've got the DRS. We're going to go sailing around the outside of Lando Norris catch him napping he's tried to gain one he's ended up losing one in the end and now we've got his former teammate oscar piastri all over the back of him and now we can go hunting after max verstappen red bull hoping that this is the car this season that can take them further towards the top 
he had a great battle with the Mercedes last season, did Max, but ultimately the car cost him and he lost out in the end. But here we go, we're getting closer to Max Verstappen now. We're going to try and go to the outside. Can we get the exit? No, we've had a massive tank at the, the back end steps out and now we're going to be left vulnerable to the Ferrari of Lando Norris but I think Lando's just too far back no he's not thinking about it at the inside and at this stage of the race we were just staying inside Max's DRS which was giving us a big hand because it was just keeping us ahead of the Ferrari of Lando Norris the Ferrari doesn't seem to have very good straight line speed compared to us but the race pace in this car seems to be all right the, the qualifying pace absolute stinker but the race pace so far seems to be all right as now oscar piastri going around the outside of lando norris can he get the exit i think he has yes he has lando norris being caught sleeping at the final corner but now he's got the exit they're side by side both with drs because of us down the inside into the first corner who gets the exit Lando's trying to defend he goes sweeping around the outside at turn three and Piastri has to back out of it as in the background there is the Alpine of Gasly going wheel to wheel with a Mercedes so at this stage of the Grand Prix then we were just keeping Lando Norris at jabbing distance and Max did start to pull away as I think we pushed a bit too hard to see on these soft tyres but the pace was still there we kind of we bottled our opportunity to overtake Max Verstappen when we tried to go around the outside and now we have started to fall back into the Ferrari of Lando Norris and Lando gets us into turn one and there's nothing we can do about that as he caught a snap in a bit there and now out of turn three we're getting closer and closer we're going to try and look to the inside cut it back to the outside and go sailing back around the outside like we did earlier on in the Grand Prix job done and we've pulled a small gap out again with that and now Oscar Piastri is up the inside he goes to the inside he's passed before he even gets to the first corner Lando though trying to break later keep it around the outside he's too far back though to do anything there and has to back out and that's to settle for P5 as now he's coming under threat from George Russell. George trying to go around the outside. Is there going to be contact? George backs out of it. Lando hanging him out to dry around the outside. Further back though, we're on to lap 10 now. This is Teo Pacher who had a great season last, last season and he's slowing down. I think the, yes, the Mercedes engine has popped in the back of the Aston Martin it has Aston Martin who had bulletproof reliability in testing really pushed the car until it broke and it didn't but it's broke when it really matters but yeah, is out as we are get as we get overtaken there by Oscar Piastri and he's he's absolutely done us there let's be honest as Lando fell back massively, so did George, their tyres really dropped off. Piastri though got past us and now was flying away and was right on the back of Max Verstappen. But as we come into the pits then on the end of lap 12, we follow in Piastri and we've got a penalty. We're doing stupid things and that's completely terrible. We've got a penalty for speeding in the pit lane. That's completely ruined our race stupid stupid mistake to make on my part we've also lost out to Lando Norris in the pit lane as well there goes Piastri can we beat out the two horses though down into turn one we'd beat out one of them was side by side Lando side by side with Nick De Vries we're side by side with Magnussen we've just about stayed ahead of one um, Haas now Lando Norris all over all over the back of the other one this race has just been turned on its head massively as we catch Lando Norris napping into that corner and now can we get past the Haas quick and build a gap we've now got 
to start gap watching down inside of the house we go at the hairpin Lando though unfortunately has followed us through now though we've got to have some pace on these medium tyres and get away from Lando as the two houses go wheel to wheel then and it looks like Magnus has done to freeze one lap later Max Verstappen is going to come into the pits to make his one and only stop of the day onto the mediums he goes he's having a fairly decent race bit lonely race for Max Verstappen we pushed him early on we fell away that Red Bull seems to have very good pace on the soft tyres he's also followed in by Lance Stroll down into the first corner though there is Joe there's Lawson and there is Piastri is the over the undercut has worked and we've always with but not for us because we've lost out to Lance Stroll but we've gone sailing around the outside of him at turn one now can we get after Max Verstappen that's a great bit of strategy by McLaren then getting Piastri ahead of Max Verstappen and we had decent pace we were catching slowly Max Verstappen we're getting closer and closer to him we bottled the chance to overtake him earlier on in the Grand Prix we've gone deep he's, he's swapped us to Dundee he's cut us back and Max once again stays ahead of us we're gonna have DRS again though but I think we're too far back even for me for a dive bomb but we're gonna look to the outside couldn't get the traction Max keeps us behind now though coming out of the hairpin there's a bit of a train now behind Max here we're getting closer and closer is it going to be third time lucky on the Dutchman yes it is we've finally got the job done on Max Verstappen and now we can go chasing after a former teammate Oscar Piastri as the Red Bull maybe has an issue or doesn't have the pace on these mediums because Lance Stroll of all people has gone sailing around the outside of Max Verstappen and short dish there has to be an issue with this Red Bull because now he's coming under pressure from the Ferrari and the Mercedes there around the outside is Lando Norris on Max Verstappen can he get the exit Lando really backs out of that one there interestingly the two Mercedes now are joining the Red Bull party it's all over the back he's nearly dropped it there as George Russell round the outside I think that's Lewis Hamilton has overtaken his teammates and all in that Verstappen is somehow still ahead of the Ferrari meanwhile though up front Joe McLaren looks quick this season is leading fairly comfortably it's a great P2 for Alfa Tauri as well. They had good pace in testing. We weren't sure if it was legit, but it seems like it is. As Max started to pull away again, maybe he was just bringing in the tyres too slowly. As George Russell overtakes then the Ferrari. And now we're just gap watching here. We were actually slowly catching the back of Oscar Piastri. But you can see the gap is only two seconds. But we're looking at the gap to Max Verstappen here and the gap is just over five seconds so as it stands we're finishing the race P7 as now this is Oscar Piastri going on to the podium as he overtakes Esteban Ocon the front row lockout for Alpine has not turned into a reality here as George Russell now on the outside of Max Verstappen to the outside of the Red Bull Max goes deeper forces him the long way round and George isn't willing to risk it around the outside and now Lance Stroll got away from from Verstappen and caught us up and we were just we would have good pace we were just watching the gap now Stroll though can we re overtake him it's a bit stupid to really fight this because of the gap but we're going to do it anyway because my mind doesn't think like that when I'm recording these videos round the outside we keep Lance Stroll behind and George has got past then Max Verstappen Verstappen now can he re overtake the Mercedes I think he's too far back to have a go into turn four as 
the Alfa Romeo out of nowhere is in the mix as Lance Stroll coming back at us now to the outside we've gone deep he swapped us the dummy who gets the exit we do we keep him behind for now that's good enough for me but with going on to the final lap this is Joe Guan Yu he has dominated the Grand Prix oh he was dominating he's dropped it he's lit up the rear tyres and on the final lap of the Grand Prix going on to the final lap of the Grand Prix he's seen it the lead slip away he's bottled it going on to the final lap of the Grand Prix he slipped all the way down to P5 and now the most frustrating thing if it weren't for our penalty we're on for a shout of the podium as we dive bomb Esteban Ocon into turn one can we now at least on the road finish P2 but this man Liam Lawson Alpha Tauri have been shocking in this career mode but he wins the opening race of the season Oscar Piastri comes home for P2 we are going to come home for P3 on Brilliant the road. Start from Alpha Tauri today. What a superb victory. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectolized on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Our winners are heading to the podium right now. Alpha Tauri have done an exceptional job when it comes to forging new talent and seeing them take home the victory today is a huge positive for the future of the sport. So that's been the opening race of the season. What a race. What an end to the Grand Prix. Liam Lawson picking up Alpha Tower's first win since Pierre Gasly at Monza in 2020. Just in the right place at the right time. Joe absolutely bottling the lead then. One more lap is all he needed if the if the race is 28 laps he's won absolute shocker for him finishing fifth after leading basically the entire race we finished p3 on the road p7 in the end so not too bad bit annoying though that it was a podium in the end it was our mistake and we've paid price for it down at the back then it was Teo Pacher the one and only retirement of the day Nick De Vries finishing last place on the road Carlos Sainz finishing P17 in the end on his debut for us so then McLaren are top of the Constructors Championship after the first round Alpha Tauri with that win for Liam Lawson it's MP2 could have been a bit more for Alpine today they are P3 Aston Martin P4 then it's Mercedes then it's us then it's Red Bull Alfa Romeo Ferrari Williams and Haas at the bottom but that's been the opening round of season five then what a race it was the car has got much better race pace than quality pace I think that's clear to see but we'll see going into Australia next time out hopefully we can do a bit better and not get a penalty for speeding in the pit lane sorry that this video has taken a very long time to come out I've been very busy I hope you enjoyed it anyway we go to Australia next time out goodbye